College Hoops 2K8. The away team go up against the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. This should be a whale of a game. Welcome, everyone. We're here at the Central. Alongside Bill Raftery, this is Vern Lundquist. Tracy Wilson is with us, too. Give us your take, Bill. This game features a matchup between two outstanding big fellas. Roberson is a supremely talented player. He has great range for a big fella, and that makes him such a tougher guy to guard. You can't just worry about him inside. He can drag you out. Chalmers is also a magnificent big man. He's got impressive ball-handling ability for a big fella. He's just as comfortable facing up as posting up. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. Pushes it to the right wing. So when nobody decides to do defense this week, it would have stuck in. Rodeo lets it go. That will be a goal. No basket. Robertson inbounds the ball. Newby takes it up. He plays it right in. Newby has got two. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, for an update. What do you have for us, Tracy? Just oh, come on, Cruz. You could have made that. Coach. I asked him about facing a team with such strong offense, and he said, you're right. They can be very explosive, and that's our number one concern. But I have all the confidence in the world in our ability to frustrate them defensively. Right. Thank you, Tracy. All right, what the hell is going on? By Grundy, the away team head coach wants to talk it over with his troops. Hey, if you've got the timeouts, you might as well use them. You can't take them to the bank with you. All right, so Grundy with four and then we got Robertson with the rebound. I think it's this already? Yeah, it's good in that game. Well, let's get back to the action. Chalmers inbounds the ball. Dumps it down low. Open low. Oh, come on, Cruz. By Cruz. Right around four minutes left in the half. Moy takes it up. Hammer. And he will go to the line. The shot was clearly affected by the All right, he's not getting the high hand. Let's move to... Shooting two. Is that Oliver? No, Chalmers. I guess Chalmers will be the high hand now. He misses the first. Good on number two. Stay waiting, stay waiting. Oliver catches it down low. the first. Uh, uh, uh. He sinks the second. Newby inbounds the ball. Under four minutes left in the half. Moy passes it up court. Oh, come on, Chalmers. Pick up the ball. Newby goes up. And good job Chalmers with the block. Gets the board inside. This guy can usually finish in traffic, but the D was too good, even for him on that one. Has it top of the key. Chalmers bounces it to the left side. Passes it back to the paint. Oh, oh JC, you could have got that. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Close out, close out. Newbie. 
by Saki. Corrals the miss inside. Flip up and in on that last layup. He's a terror on the offensive glass. No question he has a big heart and skills to match. He's hard to block out. Passes to the baseline. Rude gets it high post. Passes to the stripe. In the key. Some Chalmers. by Chalmers. They cut it to six. Newby inbounds the ball. Moy at the controls. By yourself, by yourself. <clears throat> oh, you couldn't get that Moy. steal. Leads him with the pass. Just straight to the lane. The lay-in was good by Newby. Newby. They're up 11 to 3. Has it down low. Newby pulls it in. Chalmers gets the reach-in call, and that's his first foul of the game. The away team head coach has a new lineup that isn't extremely experienced. This could have an effect on the team's chemistry. Let's see. The Thunderbirds can push their lead to double digits. Stone skips it to the wing. The away team head coach might have decided to switch things up a little bit. Alright, we need to make sure everybody's right clear now. on the game plan. You know what? Never mind. Never mind because can't do defense, cannot rebound, but can't even ball control. Can't do it. Getting set to inbound the ball. Verdeo inbounds the ball. Hands it off. The crossover. Danny goes up. Scores after the quick crossover. But they're still down by eight. Southern Utah carries it up. They're on a 13 to 5 run. Leads him in. Takes it up. Can't convert. But he'll go to the line for two. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. Gets the second to fall as well. They're playing a 3 2 zone. Your big men have to be alert when they come out in this deep. Verdeo, terrific yes. move. Verdeo. Off the backboard and in. They're now behind by eight. 119 left in the first half. I got him, I got him. Five on the two. By yourself, by yourself. Dishes down low. No, oh, nobody, shot nobody can't do defense or rebound or do anything. They're now out in front by ten. Daniel, nice little crossover. I had to lane, so. North bounces it to the elbow. Daniel takes it up. Can't get the double clutch layup to drop. Forty-eight seconds left in the first half. Goes up. You can't tee up down low any better than that. That's terrific defense. By twelve. The away team has had serious problems with their interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their and bench. Blocks. The head coach is definitely aware of that Spike. problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the paint, even if it means leaving the perimeter open. Desperate measures here, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. Robertson catches it on the free throw line. Feeds right wing. Grundy launches one from beyond the arc. Verdeo corrals the miss inside. Defensive foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting. Two. Her 
Gurley inbounds the ball. Got it off in time. First half comes to an end with the score 19 to 8. How about the happenings in the first half, Bill? I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Maybe Even can I. play by play and color. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Grundy has been lights out from the floor, Vern. He must feel like he's thrown the ball in the ocean. Every shot he takes goes through, and he looks absolutely unstoppable. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. All right, second half adjustments outside of Vadejo or Cruz getting hot. Let's see, 11 is killing us, switch defenders. We can play the bench players. I mean, again, why do you that? Can't keep bringing them down low. We can't do anything. Can't defense. You can't rebound. You can't score. You can't do it. We're ready to begin the second half. Oliver inbounds it to start the second half. Crew unloads. Count it. And he'll have a chance for the three-point game foul. I love the strength. He fought through the foul, no problem. And that'll give him the three-point chance. the three-point play. Good Perfect job, North. Shot by North. He's got two. Tracy Wolfson has more on what went on at halftime. Tracy? During halftime, I talked with the head coach. He told hey, me... Hey, look at that, a rebound. The score ...and thought his team was going to do a lot of positive things. Coach said that even though his starters had plenty of energy, he would still rotate in his bench players. He said that it wasn't a question of fatigue, but more of a method of showing different looks on offense. Back to you. Nice work, Tracy. Moy. I'll take that. Stolen away. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around, then pounced. Such a thief -er. The shot. Aye. It's ripped down Aye. by Moy. Moy did a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that foul. time. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Shooting two. At least John did stop him. Knocks down the first one. The visitors are going to make some substitutions. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Verdeo inbounds the ball. Right around four minutes left in the second half. Crew dumps it off to the paint. Goes up. Count it. And he'll have a chance for the three-point play. Second Terrific team foul. work to absorb the contact, hang in the air, and hit the shot. Pretty, Vern. Three-point play. Waisaki passes it up court. Rundy. Oh, Tim, what are you doing, John? The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. 
Moy inside. Ralphie. It drops. He's one for two for the game. Rodeo inbounds the ball. The away team is really struggling. Oliver gets it outright. With the floater. And a block. Damn. By Grundy. He attacked it with everything he had, but it still wasn't enough. Good defense, not letting him jam it home. It takes quick hands to get the theft, the and he was too slow that time. Here's the spin move. It's stolen by Wirch. Right around three minutes left in the second half. Cruz pulls it in. Cruz with a great offensive rebound there. He worked so hard to establish position. He's shooting 50% for the game. Pass, low block. Denial, and a foul's call. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Substitution. Daniel will head to the bench. He's off on the second. Crew takes it up. Grundy gets the whistle for blocking, and that's his first foul of the game. Definitely a block. Just got a little too physical to trying to draw the charge. The away team head coach saw something out there he didn't like, and he called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. All uh, right, yeah, he has the high hand, so just beat him, man. Daniel will come off the floor. If anything, let's put the book team in. Oliver inbounds the ball. Crew goes up, slides in with a soft finger roll. 11 points, and he's the top scorer. Way I'll court, take that. Anticipates the pass. He goes up for the Hail Mary, but it's extremely oh, dangerous no. to toss it up like that, court. Bill. As we saw, somebody will come down with Oh, uh, yeah, let's it put the quick team in. Who you want. That way all the starters get some rest. Well, let's get back to the action. The visitors are making a few lineup changes. Daniel gets the reach-in call, and that's his first foul. If you're going to go for the steal like that, you've got to be careful with your hands. Robertson inbounds the ball. To the rack. Fouled Team hard there. there. Foul. He'll get two that's free second personal foul. But that's a good thing. Team foul. Shooting two. He misses the first. Good on number two. The visitors, a three, would tie the game. Daniel takes it up. them both. Robertson inbounds the ball. Southern Utah calls timeout. They're up by one. 152 left in the game. Yeah, everybody should come back in. 
set up to inbound the ball. The visitors will get a few more starters back into the game. Has it left wing? Waisaki lead pass inside. That's what I'm talking about. That's his second personal foul. It'll be situation. Shooting two. Sinks the first one, and that will put them up by two. That missed free throw could come back to haunt them, Vern. That one point can make a big difference. And you gotta dunk that shit! You gotta dunk that shit! The courage on this fella is something else. You He's gotta dunk that shit! You gotta dunk that shit! Robert oh, inbounds the ball. Yep, tie game though. Southern Utah. All right, All now let's time. look on the defense. Score is at 26, 135 left in the game. Leads him in. Baseline. Waisaki. Skips it to the left. Dish down low. From in close. Not there by Newby. And it's still knotted up 26. The visitors with a chance to take the lead here late in the second half. Wirch gets it top of the key. Crew goes up. He can't get it to Fitz in second and pick up the second foul. forces them to get two at the other end to tie it. The Thunderbirds will take a timeout. They're down by two. 52 seconds left in the game. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Robertson inbounds the ball. Moy dumps it to the middle. Nice move and on by Robertson. The away team calls timeout. The score tied at 28. 41 seconds left in the game. This is a crucial possession. Six second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Left wing. Murphy. Rodeo catches it, high post. Tipped away, but it's recovered by Cruz. That last shot was made from 19 feet. For a scorer like him, those kind of chances are like taking candy from a baby. Robertson inbounds the ball. Grundy passes way down for Southern Utah calls time. They're losing by two. One second left in the game. Getting set to inbound the ball. Daniel is coming onto the floor. For the game, heartbreak. He got it up in time, but couldn't hit the game-winning shot by Grundy. It's over. 
The visitors just get by Southern Utah, 30 to 28. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Let's quickly go to Greg Gumbel in the studio with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're set to bring you the Pontiac game-changing performance. We had to wait until the clock was winding down to determine the winner of this matchup. They really had their hands full until the game's closing moment when this clutch shot gave them the lead and the win. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports.